find the transfer function x1s by x2s our force is applied on the mass m1 f of t on x1 so x1 is more than x2 here mass m2 is connected between k1 and k2 here k1 is connected between x2 and x1 k2 is connected between x2 and ground mass m1 has only one displacement x1 mass m2 has only one displacement x2 the b is connected between m1 and ground so b has a displacement of x1 and ground since we have two variable we will use two impedance uh, since force is applied at x1 x1 is more than x2 and therefore our first variable is x1 and second variable x2 these are the same common terms we have used previously also we have equation number one is formed by the first equation and the second one the sum of impedance around x1 so x1 means m1 and to m1 we have k1 and m1 and b impedance of uh, k1 is k impedance of m1 is m1 s square impedance of b is bs multiplied by x1s whereas the sum of impedance between x1 and x2 so x1 is here and x2 is here so only k1 is connected between x1 and x2 remember k2 is connected between x2 and ground so there is only one element that is k1 multiplied by x2s equals to f of s because the force is applied on x1s the first term in the second equation is same as this term that is minus k1 multiplied minus k1 multiplied by x1s and when we are writing m2 x2 so we have to consider m2 and all elements nearby m2 so impedance of m2 is m2 s square k1 is k1 and impedance of k2 is k2 multiplied by x2s equals to now arrange the above equation 1 and 2 by in the matrix form as shown previous problem and solve by Kramer's rule we will get x1s by f of s so x1s by f of s will be m2 s square k1 k2 upon the determinant of this that is this term multiplied by this one and minus of this term that is k1 square one more example we will discuss here the mass m1 and m2 mass m1 is connected by two spring and one damper k1 k2 and b whereas k1 is connected between m1 and ground so it has a displacement of x2 and ground k2 is connected between m1 and x m2 so it has a displacement of x2 and x1 the damper b is connected between x2 and ground so one displacement is x2 and other is equals to ground the force is applied on m2 with a displacement of x1 so x1 is more than x. since force is applied on the mass m2 with a displacement of x1 so x1t is more than x2t and therefore our first variable is x1 second variable is x2 the variable first variable is x1s where the force is applied so we have external force f of s is 0 on x2s there is no force acting so right hand side equals to the impedance about x1s is f this is x1 so x1 is m2 and x1 is also the displacement of k2 so m2 impedance of m2 is m2s square and the impedance of k2 is k2 so that is my first term is m2s square plus k2 multiplied by x1s we want to write down the sum of impedance between x1 and x2 here k1 is between x2 and ground b is between x2 and ground but k2 has one displacement x2 and one displacement x1 so there is only one term that is k2 multiplied by x2s and this should be equals to f of s there is a correction here you have to make it f of s when you are writing the sum of impedance around x2 so x2 is here x2 is connected to m1 so we have to select all elements around m1 that is k1 k2 b and m1 so we have here m2 s square it should be m1 s square plus bs plus k1 plus k2 so apply the Kramer's rule and solve for x1 if we apply the Kramer's rule so we can get x1s divided by f of s multiplied by m2 s square plus bs plus k1 k2 upon determinant of this matrix